am Mike Stanton. It's September 29th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with David Young from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. David, thanks for taking some time this week. Uh, last week, New York City was uh, besieged by a long, slow-moving tropical storm that dropped rain for an extended period. This week, you could say the Muni Market was besieged by a long-running storm that dropped higher yields for a prolonged period. What did you see? Yeah, so um, the higher for longer is really the main focus here, right? Uh, last week in the meeting, um, that's kind of what the investors were looking at. That's what they focused on. Um, we're seeing the bond market really kind of whiplash here. Uh, you know, right now, the 10-year U.S. Treasury um, is at a 463. A 30-year U.S. Treasury is at a 475. Um, that's about 20 basis points higher than... Um, uh, we were looking at last week. And so uh, that's really dragged into the muni market as well. And the muni market, um, you know, compared to last week, uh, MMD AAA munis are about 25 to 31 basis points higher, depending on the curve. Uh, and, you know, we've uh, on the desk had some conversations with uh, investors and really what they're seeing, which is supported by the Lipper number is outflows. Um, right now, we're seeing 1.2 billion of outflows this week, and that's bringing the year to date outflows to 12 billion. And part of that is probably investors seeing that there are better opportunities or, or believing there are better opportunities either in uh, the stock market, but even more likely in uh, in T-bills and, and short term low uh, risk securities because that Fed rate is, is staying so high. And just to put some more meat on the bones of the higher for longer, the FOMC you know, did not raise rates last week as expected. They are probably going to raise them one more time this calendar year. But I think what a lot of people were responding to was this, the quote unquote dot plot where the individual governors uh, showed where they expect rates to be well into 2024. And those were uh, higher than people were expecting. Right. And when we, um, you know, the dot plot that you mentioned, when we took a look at that a couple months ago, um, you know, investors were expecting, uh, you know, rates to come back down in the first half of next year. Now the dot plot's showing that it's looking more likely that it's going to happen in the second half. So uh, it's just something that the investors are keeping an eye on. Uh, it's, you know, a read and react situation out there. It's very dynamic. And, um, you know, just like everybody else in the market, uh, we're keeping an eye on it. Uh, in the meantime, in the new issue market, it was a strong week for BAM, as is typical. Uh, insurance was a, a popular product during a time of volatility. What kind of transactions did you see? Yeah, so this week we had about eight billion of supply, um, and that's you know relatively speaking, we have heard from certain underwriters that didn't come to market uh, given um, all the volatility and whatnot. Uh, so it could have been bigger, uh, but for BAM we had a really good week. We insured twenty two transactions for three hundred and seventy one million of par. Uh, two that I want to highlight are the eighty six million dollar Coatesville ASD in Pennsylvania, and that was led by RBC and a $40 million Palmdale School District in California, and that was led by Ramirez. And both of those transactions were featured in BAM Credit Insights videos. You can visit our YouTube page to see more information. Coatesville was discussed by Howard Spumberg, uh, Managing Vice President in our East Region Public Finance Group, and Todd Tomich talked about the Palmdale transaction. He heads our West Coast Public Finance effort. What about next week? Uh, still a pretty strong calendar given the volatility. Yeah, uh, we, we're we seeing about eight and a half billion right now. Um, that's led by a billion in, in San Diego airport, a billion in New York City geo. Uh, so, you know, despite all this volatility, it is it is impressive to kind of see um, some of these large issuers just keep coming to market and, uh, and kind of hold that supply steady. Uh, for BAM, uh, again, two deals that I want to highlight. Um, there is a $59 million Tolpahawken ASD in Pennsylvania, and that will be uh, brought by Stiefel, and then a $21 million Green Gables Metro District. And that's in, uh, as I mentioned, Colorado, uh, and that'll be led by DA Davidson. It'll be interesting to see. Historically, New York City's presence in the new issue market has had a stabilizing effect in the muni market. Uh, they do attract, they do tend to attract crossover buyers uh, from the global stage. Uh, so we'll see if that trend uh, can play out next week. Before we sign off, just uh, one other shout out to a smaller deal this week. Uh, BAM insured just under $10 million for the York Suburban School District in Pennsylvania. It was a transaction led by Raymond James. York Suburban School District was actually the very first bond BAM insured way back in August 2012. So uh, good to see a longtime BAM member reaccessing the market and, and benefiting from our guarantee. Thanks for your time this week, David. We'll talk to you soon. All right, thanks, Mike.